Hello, hello YouTube! Welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun. In the last episode, we uh, got a lot of the dialogue out of the way, a lot of the introduction. And, uh, well, we're going to find out what happened three years later after the accident. In just a second. There we go. That sounds better. David, haven't you finished mending the roof yet? Okay, actually, you know what? I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to let you guys read this, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit more. We are going to run at kind of a low frame rate. And that's for the sake of the audio, the background music, because, uh, honestly, I would much rather listen to uh, the music in the background than see uh, fluid, like, animation. And I know that that sounds weird, but, uh... Actually, the music is something I've, I haven't noted yet, but I'm really enjoying the music so far. And the little sound effect blips that we're getting for the text, not as important. Uh, so, for this video at the very least, uh, we're going to be running at kind of a low frame rate, but the audio is going to sound cleaner. A lot, a lot cleaner. Uh, and I'm not sure whether that's going to be something that's going to bother you guys, or whether it won't be. Uh, I actually think that this is better seems a lot less fragmented and, well, honestly, I think it just is a better video with with uh, everything sounding correctly. Because I know that it bothers me when I'm watching a video and the audio is tearing and especially the last episode, how slow and jumpy everything was. It was really irritating, at least for me. And, uh, <laughs> it's funny, I actually uh, did a test recording and I had absolutely no idea how to read this. Uh, I cannot be two people at the same time. Anyways, anyways, um, so let me know in the comments whether you guys think that, uh, that sort of torn audio, but, uh, a little bit smoother video was better than the low frame rate we're getting now, but the cleaner audio, and, uh, I know that that kind of sucks that we have to choose between, uh, between good audio and good video, but, uh, hopefully that won't be the case for very long. I'm still trying to work out the kinks here, and, uh, making this as good as I can for you guys, uh, with, with my current equipment. Uh, I hope I'm not skipping this text too fast. Uh, sorry if I am. Um, anyways, it looks like Garrett and Jenna have been uh, being teenagers, because Garrett is being a socially awkward penguin and not... See, look at that. Not even asserting his, his opinions or anything. She, of course, is going to be the just-out-of-reach, sort of always-one-step-ahead girl, at least to Garrett. That's what it looks like it's shaping up to be right now. Um, we are still fixing the roof here. Because Lord knows what happened to this roof. This is three years later, so it wasn't because of the boulders. Maybe this is just a whole house. Uh, it looks like we've gotten a little bit better with our synergy. As has Garrett, to see if we can move some hay and strategically place it on a rooftop, and Garrett can shove gigantic rocks. And I wonder if Jenna's going to be our stereotypical healer. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work yet, still. We're going to have to find out together. Um, I think after that, I can jump back into the, the voicing. Alright, you're all done. Very reliable, David. Just like your father was. What is it, David? Do you still think about the accident? Yeah, I do. I thought so. David. You and Garrett have been working as yourselves to the bone studying synergy. Do you think things would be any different if you had stronger abilities? Yes! That's what I thought. I was devastated when Kyle died. Uh, actually, this is kind of really bad on me. Uh, I kind of glossed over this fact in the last video when I said, oh, there are, there were people there and now they're not there. I should have made more of a note the fact that Kyle was one of those people who was not there. Uh, that was, of course, David's father, Dora's husband. And, uh, well... Honestly, I apologize. That's something I should have made a note of in the last video, that, that Kyle actually died when the boulder hit. 
So our father's been dead for three years. Hello, Jenna. Good morning. Yes, yes, good morning. Skip the pleasantries, woman. Well, if it isn't Garrett too. It is Garrett too. What are you talking about? Where do you plan to go today? We're going to... Oh, I'm going to have to change this voice. We're going to Mount Olive. How do I do this? We're going to Mount Olive with Kraden. How about I give one of these guys my actual voice? Be lazy about it. I'll give David my actual voice. I have to give the Garrett a voice. Not climbing with Kraden, eh? Kids in their games. No, it's part of our studies. Ah, oh, yes. Alchemy. Alchemy is the foundation of all synergy. You all know that Mount Olive is the greatest source of alchemy. Alchemy is something with a source. This isn't how alchemy worked in Full Metal Alchemist at all. I wonder what use it all is. Well, we fixed your roof. Your mother would rather see you grow up to be a happy, ordinary man. Of course, that displeases David. But I suppose you still... Of course we still want to go. Well, if that won't persuade you, I guess nothing will. Just as stubborn as your father. Um... You know, jumping on the roof is a... Oh! There she goes. Mom's dead. Yep. Oh, Garrett! Oh, Mom's not dead. That's good. Oh, that was exciting. Woman, scared us half to death. Better apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll get out of her way right away. Yeah, you will. Messing up my roof that I just patched. What's wrong with... <sighs> Is this where we all laugh it off like it's some sort of silly game? And then... And, and we all go off to the mountain and, and, and Mom goes, those darn kids? Yeah, that's what it's shaping up to be. Better get going. This old house will fall apart if you stay much longer. Oh, guilt tripping us. Mom! Oh, oh, look at this. She's a pro. Pro guilt tripper. Thank you, ma'am. And of course, us teenagers don't even see it. Please, call the door. You'd think after three years she would know to call her Dora. Wait, Garrett, just watch your step. Oh, I bet he feels bad. Wrecking my home. Wait, can we? No. I thought that that was going to be our chance to move. Garrett and Jenna joined our party! We have got a party going on right here. But not quite a celebration to last throughout the year. We're not there yet. I can move! Okay, Mount Olive. That was this way. See, I think that this is a little bit better. Um, I don't want to bother talking to any of you people. At least not yet. We're gonna have all of Um, I think this is better. Honestly, I don't think that much is lost with the frame rate, uh, video-wise. Let's talk to you. Welcome, weary wanderers. What do you seek? We want to repel evil! Um... What? Okay. Healing. This guy's a healer. This isn't the way to Mount Olive at all. Garrett, you lied to us in the last video. I am sorely disappointed. Um... Oh, this guy again. They seem to know little of Soul Sanctum's mysteries. The Elders of Vale must not permit anyone to enter it. Not even Kraden. Kraden? Can we use him? His knowledge is no meager thing. We can use him. But he's more stubborn than we expected. Cunning too. Cunning beyond measure. If he won't go willingly, then we can always... Oh, we were eavesdropping again. 
what are we doing? Are you eavesdropping on our conversation? No! Playing it cool! <laughs> Guess I should take you at your word. You didn't take us at our word three years ago. Hey, you were the one that was scary. You shut your mouth. You're gonna get us in trouble. Sneaking. Who are you to accuse me? So Credence engagement was with you. Yeah, we're after you. Uh, woman? And is this appointment important enough to drive us away? Um, yes, it is very important. <laughs> if your errand is more important than our own, then... Go. You're letting us go? Are you sure, son? Sotaros? Sotaros, we learned his name. Sotaros, the blue-haired man. Mendari, okay, no, Menardi. Oh, Menardi, that's gonna be hard for me to remember. We have no reason to delay these children any further. Any further, you were delaying us before. But, but let's go, David. Let's get the heck out of Dodge. Those guys gave me the willies. Just worry. I don't know too much about Soul Sector. Things even the others have failed, don't they? They're saying about the elements. If that was in a different order, I would have made an excellent joke right now. And you all are thinking it. You all are thinking it, so I don't have to say it. Make a different name. Go, don't you worry. These are things even I, a trained alchemy sage, do not know. Let's go talk to this trained alchemy sage. In fact, something's bothering you. Me? Uh, what? It's those two, isn't it? Satros and Mandari. Are they still out there? They're very persistent. But they want something from you, Grin. This seems to be the case. Why are you two facing away? That's so rude. Seems to be. Not all of Soul Sanctum. They spoke as if they'd seen them with their own eyes. Isn't that strange? Yeah, that's, I guess that's a little weird. I have to pretend I know what they're talking about. Yes, you can't out enter Mount Olive without a very good reason. If they entered secretly, then they might be thieves. We have to go and tell the High Elders and the villagers. No. Wait, everyone. It's a bad plan, you guys. We still don't know how accurate the things they said were. We could do nothing until we confirm what they told me. Then what should we do? Go confirm it. We should go into Soul Sanctum ourselves. Isn't that impossible? Why would it be? Just because climbing Mount Olaf is forbidden? Well, yeah. It totally is forbidden, you guys. I totally know this. We're just going to see whether they've been to the mountain. Surely that would be acceptable. Oh, you conniving old man. Well, we'll be fine if they... No, we won't be fine. We're going to be law-abiding citizens. Sure, you say no, but you know... So just be our secret, okay? Nope. I'm an honest Joe. Fine. Then it is decided. I'll make you the lead... <laughs> no! I guess. Ah. There's some dangerous places between Mount Olaf and Soul Sanctum. You can handle it, right, David? More cautious than Garrett is, David, so you'll be fine. I'm switching up everyone's voices here. This is hard. You don't have to be so blunt. Well, suddenly he is inside. I like how you can always tell what exactly is going to move, because everything else looks so detailed. This is our best bet. Alright, let's go. Um, my mic is moving around. I'm sorry, you guys. You're probably going to wind up hearing that. Now how to get start this way? How to get to Mount Olive. Do you hear those awful growls coming from the other side of the fence? No! Really? You mean I'm the only one that hears them? Fine. I hear the growls. Oh, I wanna move this rock. 
Garrett, you can push things, right? You can't... You can't push that? Uh, okay. How do I... How do I... Where do I go? Um... I honestly don't know where to go. Um... Legitimately, I don't. I can't... This is... He said this was the way. Maybe if we just... Um... You guys, I don't know where to go. I'm not planning on sneaking up to Mount Dolores. What? Yes, I am. Don't even care, man. We're here. We have arrived! Let us enter the Soul Sanctum. This is your first time here, right? It's an important relic of our past. Take a good look at it. Good look taken. Uh, oh! We can jump! Jump! Okay, that was easy. No, it wasn't. It's a jump harder. There we go. That was easy. I'm excited that we can actually jump, instead of like every other RPG ever. Bats! So we have synergy that we can use. We have items that we can use. You no, know, so let's all check. Oh, we have attacks! Ooh, it's an area of effect attack. Okay. Thank you can go too. I don't want to waste all of it, so let's see what this all does. Okay, that takes eight damage. That's not bad, we're a little stronger than we were when we were kids. Still about the same defenses though. That's not a bad spell. We're gonna have to make use of that. I like that, okay. So we've got that fire magics that are area of effect, so I'll keep that in mind. Um, Mashroom is not going to get any PP wasted on it, because that was fast! More jamps! Jamp, jamp, no, it can't go that way. Jamp, jamp, jamp. What's that way? Is there anything over here? Uh you guys, I apologize in advance, I am a pretty thorough player and I like to explore, so if I wind up taking a lot of extra time doing that and it's bothersome, I apologize. Maybe some of you like the 100% the mentality. Uh, what? This is empty. Okay, well that's empty then. That round. It's too good to be true. What's this way? Enemies, apparently. Vermins. Okay, I didn't even make a note of this in the last video, and I, I feel like I should have now, but what the heck? Why are they holding staffs with hands? I just don't understand. This is actually to test something. Um, I guess I'm not going to test it. I want to see if uh, if I attack an enemy that's already felled, if my attack misses, or if it just auto-targets another enemy. I guess that's something I should have been paying attention to. Let's see. Oh! I defend instead. Okay, so I'm going to have to pay attention to that. And I can't just auto-attack all the- WHAT?! Vermin, you can't nimbly dodge! Oh my gosh, okay. 
So I guess we're experiencing a little bit more of the combat in this game. Uh, okay, so we need to get a gem for the right eye. Rather, it's left eye. So let's go this way because it's got to be over here. Bats. Yeah, so I'm actually a little pleased that that's the way combat works. So that I can't just mash A to win. Oops. And I have to actually put some thought into the enemies that I do choose to attack. So, uh, again, maybe this video I'm not going to do any cutting of the fights, but it is definitely in my plans to do that. This is where we get the gem. Yeah, for sure. Standard puzzle in an RPG. Not super much of a puzzle, but, you know, it took our time. Uh, we are holding a small jewel. Use. And then we have to go to the right side, or the left side, because the passageway is now open on the left side of that left passageway. We got a smorgasbord of enemies here. Let's kill the mushroom. The bat. Because the vermin is about to take a full grunt mode. Oh, yes, triple KO! <gasps> We've leveled up! Incredible! We've mastered the squire's quake. Okay, that's actually, apparently, a significant boost. Only, who was that? Was that Garrett or David who leveled up? Because it wasn't Jenna. I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, I was too excited by the leveling up. And mastering the Squire's Quake. I think that was Garrett. Garrett seems like more of a Squire. It's totally a secret over here. Tell me that green glowy moss. Which is how I figured out that it would be on the left side last time. Uh-huh. Guess who's gonna have to use the move command? Those two said there would be a hidden passage leading deeper into the sanctum. I've come here many times and I've always thought it looked... strange. I always had imagined Soul Sanctum would look different somehow. What do you mean? Soul Sanctum was built in honor of the sun. There ought to be something here to reflect that. I was always puzzled why there wasn't. Yeah, and Soul in Latin is sun, for those of you who aren't aware. Sanctum obviously being some a word for sanctuary, so that's a little bit of fun trivia. For those of you who are unaware of your Latin roots. Of course we should help maybe. You know what? I think that this video is going to be exactly as long as it needs to be at this point. So um, we're going to end it off here, and once again, when we start the next video, we will appear exactly here, totally standing exactly on this purple square. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching, uh, and uh, again, I'm going to be posting up another video probably in the next two days. So uh, look forward to that definitely, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day. See ya!